Good to have Shabbos, young Israel. Nichumi Avail extended to Mrs. Gloria Gasser upon the loss of her father's Jack Diamond. Gloria will be seeing Sheva through Monday morning. Zoom information, phone number has been emailed. Please read Nachum Avo. May Gloria family only experience Nechama, comfort, consolation, and Nachas from their children and grandchildren in good health for many, many happy and healthy years. Before Shlema to Chaim Malks, please dive in for Chaim Shlomo, then Sarah Rivka. Baruch Hashem, Chaim is getting better and should continue on the way to full recovery. Please remember that the latest time for Kiddush Levan, it's a little bit cloudy today, but Kiddush Levan is through this coming Wednesday night. Kiddush Levan is an appointed mitzvah. Just because we don't have a minion doesn't mean that we can't be Mekadesh the Levana. One of my favorite stories, or favorite famous stories at least, involves the holy tzaddik, Reb Naftali of Rabshitz. This little boy, the Malamed, was teaching Reb Naftali how to read. They're reading from a siddur, Baruch HaKa Hashem, they get up to the two yuds, and Naftali pronounces, Ya, yeah, Ya, yeah, as probably some of our kids also had the same experience. But what was unique was the tzaddik's question and his rabbi's answer. Asks the precocious little boy, but rabbi, you told me if you have, if you have one yud on top of another, so it's a silent sound. It's a shiva. Answer the malamed. When two yidin are one on top of another, so it doesn't make any sound. It's silent. It's a vacuum. But when two yidin, two yuds, stand next to each other, when two Jews are shoulder to shoulder, so then it's godliness. Then the pronunciation is shem havaya, is God's name. Vahavtalarecha kamalcha, continues the Pasuk a few words later, Ani Hashem, as we love one another, we love our fellow. So this is the source for meriting a Hashra Sashchin of Ahibish Rav Melech. When do we merit the greatest concentration of God's, of God's presence, of, of His Hashkacha, His providence? V'sasef yachad v'sasef rashi am yachad shivtei Yisrael When we all come together, the Mishnah teaches in Birkei Yavis, I think I mentioned this in the Parshas year, uh, Thursday night, that called Torah she'en ima malacha sofa b'tela, Torah that's devoid as malacha, of malacha, eventually dissipates and evaporates. The understanding of malacha normally is as one might imagine, is a, having a means of support, gainful employment. The Barditch of Arab, the Kedushas Levi, as a young man, merited to hear Torah from the Baal Shem, and the Torah, the, the insight of the Baal Shem Tov, profoundly impacted and influenced the path of the Kedushas Levi's life. The Kedushas Levi was known as a defender of the Jewish people, Sanei Shel Yisrael, was known as one whose every waking moment was for the sake of his fellow. He learned this from his rabbi from the Baal Shem, where the Baal Shem taught, called Torah Sheni Mabalacha. Malacha doesn't mean employment, does not mean a means of livelihood necessarily, or at least exclusively, but Malacha means working and toiling for one's fellow. If one locks himself in Beis Medrash and his Torah is just for me, and my Torah is not shared, and my, so that's Sofa Betela, the Torah is nothing. Sharing means sharing the actual Torah, and sharing also means tending to the physical and material needs of our fellow Jews. Have to have a lot of patience. The mitzvah of Orla, you got three years, the first fruits are prohibited when a tree is planted. Now in the fourth year, may one partake in those fruits. Different explanations given by the Rishonim as to why this is the case. The Rambam explains because the, uh, the idolaters of antiquity used to cast spells and do different things in order to hasten the growth and in order to keep us away from being tempted to use similar methods so to keep as a, as a means of distancing from our other czar, so the Torah prohibits using those fruits the first three years. The Rambam says the reason for our law is so that the fourth year fruits will be especially, especially... Uh, high quality first, and uh, because the, and be brought to Yerushalayim as Neta Revai. The Madrash though gives a different, completely different, and very very relevant reason, and that is as follows: 
the reason why one has to wait three years to eat the fruits, from the first fruits of that tree, is in order to foster, to inculcate patience. Savlanut. Not so easy. It's from one week becomes two weeks, five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks. The governor just announced a few minutes ago that schools are closed through the end of the year. Got to be patient. And Bezer Hashem, we're going to stay strong. We're not giving up. We're being very patient. Patient in our return to, to the show Bezer Hashem. Patient in adhering to social distancing and local ordinances, etc. And patient in, in our davening and aggressive in our looking out for one another to make sure that two yin, the two yuds are one next to another, two Jews are shoulder to shoulder to pay attention to one another and Bezra Hashem merit the, that Ani Hashem by Hidushun Melech Misasef Rasha Yom Yachat Shiftei Yisrael by staying together, by patiently staying together and continuing to call and to look out for one another we will merit an especially high degree of divine providence of Hashkoch El Yonah, us and Kal Yisrael have a very, very good Shabbos.